Okay, this is our last step for making our bread, which is just great to be at that stage. Um, here's our bread, it's doubled in size. This is actually a little more risen than it needs to be. Um, if I let it go too much longer, it's gonna start to sour. So thankfully it didn't sour, <laughs> um, which I'm really grateful for. Um, okay, I have, I had three, so I've already, I left one so you could see what it looks like when it's big. I've taken this one and split it into halves because remember there's six loaves here, so we've got to split them in two. So there's my next ones that I need to shape. I'm not the best at shaping. I like to do the circles because they're really easy and I can get them actually looking pretty cute. Uh, the loaves always come out funky, so if you want to have amazing looking bread, just go online and find somebody else that's good at shaping. Um, I don't use bread pans because they kind of make it denser and keep it from really rising the way that it needs to rise for me. And I just, I, I just discovered this recently, that if I'll use a bread pan, the loaves don't look as cool, but they have a better texture and they're fluffier. They're just more awesome. So that's why I've started doing it this way. You can still use bread pans and they'll still be good. Um, but I have found that this allows them to really rise and have a lighter, fluffier texture. So they're still gonna be somewhat dense because it's, it's wheat, but they're pretty awesome for wheat. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I shape the little circle loaves. You just, after you've separated or split it in half of the other one, you just start doing this. You just fold it in and around in a circle. I don't have any of my kids are up right now, so they're not able to record for me. So I'm doing this solo mio. That's okay. Um, anyways, you just kind of just keep pushing it, pulling it over and pushing it down into the center. And as you do that, you're getting the air bubbles out, which is good. Um, when I first did my dough from this stage, just kind of push it down and start kind of kneading it a little bit in the bowl and then I separate um, I, I, I separate it into two and then I just knead each one individually like this you don't have to do it a super long time the main thing is, is getting those air bubbles out and shaping it so once I've done that oops we got a little hole going on there we go once I do that, I just turn it over. It's a little bit sticky. This is hard with one hand. It's actually easier to make it look pretty when you have two hands. But then I just stick it on my pan. And I can fit two of the circle loaves on one cookie sheet. And they'll rise. They'll double in size and get all nice and pretty. And then I'll bake them. So when you get to this point, what you want to do is take a wet towel um, this is, and you just like lay it on top. That way they don't dry out while they're rising. Okay, so after you've done that, you just let them rise, and it'll be probably about two hours to maybe two and a half hours. You don't want to overrise because once again, if they start overrising, they get more sour. If they, like in this stage, this could have been bad. This could have been soured overhead. <laughs> But it actually tastes okay, so we were we were blessed. But um, anyways, let it rise for about two to two and a half hours. You'll know that they're done because they'll get twice the size that they are now. And you can actually push into the dough. And if it holds your little push, you know that it's done. This is just bouncing back. Um, but anyways, they'll just double in size. That's the main thing to look for. Um, and then you throw them in the oven um, at three... I don't know what temperature you do, but I usually do 375 for about 35 minutes. And the way that you know they're done is you take a thermometer, one of those little circle stick thermometers, stick it in there, and it should be 180 degrees internally. If it's not 180 degrees, then you need to let it go a little longer. Um, so just add a few more minutes and then check it again. Add a few more minutes if you need to and check it again. Um, Usually it's about 35 minutes at 375 for me. So anyways, that is that. And when it's all done, I'll show you what that looks like.